also been like for you to play Annalise in the back half of the season, who is a very different character than when we met her a year and a half ago. She's she's damaged both phys- so damaged both physically and mentally at this point. She was always damaged. She's always been a mess. <laughs> it has been just the joy of my life. I absolutely love as a woman to play a character that where no limitations are placed on her. And I cannot tell you what it feels like to be an actress, especially an actress of color, where people just automatically limit you. From the moment you get introduced in a narrative, you have to be warm, you have to be likable, you have to be cute. You have to be all of these things before they put pen to paper. They don't do that with men. Can you imagine if they did that with James Gandolfini (laughs) in The Sopranos, you know? It's so wonderful that Pete Nowak is really exploring this woman's pathology with no limitations, no no fear of her mess. I think people are afraid of of women who have mess. I think we've been stigmatized in in the past. Well, we know better now. Going sort of the physicalities of the character in this back half of the season with her um, being so physically damaged from the wound and also just sort of everything that's happened to her, what type of new thought have you put into the character? What type of new thought have I put in the character? Just that she's probably more vulnerable. Listen, I just really want to use a huge part of myself in this role. That's what I want to use. I'm not trying to change myself and alter myself so much to kind of fit into some kind of idea of what a leading lady should look like. I mean, listen, we're all leading ladies in life, all of women. So um, that's what I represent with how I walk in terms of everything that's happened to her. I think it would make anyone vulnerable. I think that you will see in the coming episodes that there are other things that will make her more vulnerable. 